Good morning, everyone. I just literally rolled out of bed. I'm so tired. It's Monday. I'm in my new bathrobe that I showed you guys in my last video. And I think I hear Summer waking up and I want to put her bathrobe on so that you guys can see it too. I am also wearing the pajama pants from this brand. You can get it on Amazon. I'm obsessed. Like literally won't be buying pajamas from anywhere else. Mm. Normally I wake up earlier than Summer and have like probably 40 minutes or more to myself. But I just didn't do that this morning. So... I think you can see me better in this mirror. I'm gonna show you how I do my at-home lash extensions. I've talked about them a lot on Instagram and I did, I think, reference them in a YouTube video and you guys seemed very interested to... <coughs> Sorry, I don't have COVID. You guys seemed very interested to see how I do it. So I'm gonna be showing you that. I'm also gonna be wrapping presents today so you guys will get to see that. I love wrapping and like making each present super pretty. And I don't know, I'll just take you along for the day. A day in the life with a toddler on a Monday. You watch Blue, Mommy's gonna get some things done. Nick and Summer made a snowman <laughs> this weekend and it's basically melted. <laughs> All our snow is gone. Well, I mean, he's still standing pretty good though. I can't get over how cute this bathrobe is. We're gonna make the pancakes, you wanna stir? watch them cook. Can you say cook? Can you say cook? Cook. Okay, we're gonna flip them. When they get bubbles, can you say bubbles? Bubbles? <laughs> when they, yep, bubbles. When they get bubbles, we're gonna flip them. Would you like some syrup? <laughs> Would you like some syrup on your pancakes? Yeah? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Look how cute her little pancakes are. She'll probably only eat like one and a half, but I'll save the rest. Also a mom hack. 
I uh, save the bottle when we finish a juice and then when I buy a new one, I pour half of it in the old bottle and fill both of them up with water. So it's already half water, half juice. That's what we like to do. Um, so yeah, save your empty bottle and then when you go to buy a new one, pour half of it in and then fill them both up with water. Then you have two whole bottles of apple juice that are diluted. Are they a little warm? Okay, so I got changed into my Bills sweatshirt. This was my Poppies, 1990 AFC champions. And if any of you guys are local, you know that the Bills just won the AFC East for the first time in 25 years. So I wanted to wear this. I'm going to be hopping on a Zoom call with uh, my manager for my um, like part-time job that I have from home, as well as a couple other people from our uh, department and they're big Bills fans so I put this on. My mom's coming over to watch Summer. I will check in with you guys later probably when she's in her nap to show you guys my false lash DIY. Cheers! Cheers <laughs> Lulu! Cheers! Yay! What do you got Summer? Oh. You got coffee? You gonna go play with Lulu? Okay. Where are you gonna go? Do you wanna go in your room? You gonna go into the room. Go okay. This is so weird. I have my whole setup like when I used to do my makeup videos. If you guys have been around since when my channel was a makeup channel, comment down below. I know a lot of you guys are still here. Um, but yeah, I haven't like set up my three point lighting system with like a close up lens um, in a very long time. So this just feels so weird. Um, it actually feels really fun. Like I'm getting all, I don't know, I'm getting all the feelings right now. Yeah, that was before I had summer and had a lot more time on my hands. I would film like two to three videos, makeup videos a week. Fun times, but we're in a different stage. <laughs> um, so I'm just putting on this hairband. I got it from Target and I like to wear it when I do like my skincare. Oh, by the way, I crimped my hair. Uh, if you guys want a tutorial on that, to let me know. I thought about adding it into this video, but honestly, if I do that and this tutorial, the video is going to be like an hour long, which I don't think anyone's really wanting. So um, we're just going to do the lashes today. And if you want a hair tutorial as well, let me know and I can do that. So I'm going to be doing my lash extensions at home DIY lash extensions. So these are the lashes I use. They're from Ardell. They're the faux mink ones. Uh, and the number, the specific one I use is 817. I've used quite a few different um, lashes to do this exact same method. So if you want something more dramatic, um, less dramatic, just choose the uh, lash, I guess, that looks like something you'd want to use and you can do all of the same steps that I'm about to do and it should work out well. The one thing I will say is though, try to find a lash that has the invisible band, like the clear band. Those typically tend to be uh, lighter and will adhere to the lash for a longer period of time and just be more comfortable. If they have a really thick band, it's not going to feel very good because what we're actually doing is we're going to attach these underneath our lashes. What we have to do first is cut them into segments because that allows you to just adhere them better and um, they just will like move with your eye better and also I will trim them ahead of time just to see what we're working with here because I don't need this full band. It's way too long for my eye so I kind of just like do a rough measure of where I want it to start and I can see that I need to cut off the last two segments here. You always want to cut off from the outside um, because each lash is tapered perfectly to go into the inner corner and it doesn't really matter as much where it ends. I will show you what I have here at the end once I cut them all into segments. 
Okay, I actually want to show you them side by side. So this one I have not cut yet into segments. And this one I have cut all the little segments. I've just placed them back on here so that I remember where each one goes. If I just cut them and then they were spewed about, I wouldn't know the order in which they go and they could end up looking funky because they're not in the right space. So I'm gonna cut this one into, let's see, one, two, three, four, five segments. Cut this one into five segments and then we'll begin applying. I also should mention I use these little tiny scissors. They're eyebrow uh, trimmer scissors. I will find them and link them down below. I really love these. And I'll also link these lashes down below as well as the glue I'm going to show you because the glue I use is key. Okay, so there are both of my lashes segmented. This is the glue I love to use. It is from Kiss. It is their Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe in Black. And it is the formaldehyde free secure hold one. So if you have sensitive eyes like I do, I have very sensitive eyes. I highly recommend getting this glue. I believe it's because it's formaldehyde free. Uh, that's the reason this one doesn't irritate me. I mean, who would want formaldehyde that close to their eyes? I don't know. But this one I love, and I also love that it's black because even the like white or clear ones that are supposed to dry clear, I feel like they don't dry clear. It ends up looking like gunk. So I like using black. You also will want a pair of tweezers because this is what we're gonna be applying each segment to our lashes with. And I normally start from the outer corner and work my way in. So, you see your lashes? This side goes to this eye and this side goes to this eye. So we're gonna start with this segment on this corner. And what I'm going to do is I pick up my lash with my finger, I lay a teeny, teeny bit of glue down on the top of the lash because this is going to be attached underneath. So generally you'd be applying to the back to put on top of your lashes, but we're going to apply the glue on top to stick it up and under. You want to apply a really nice thin line to the top. What I normally do is get a dollop going here and then I kind of like paint it on. If you get too much, I just kind of put it on my box and then what I like to do is take the tip of this and just kind of like push some of the glue up into the hairs so that the hairs get a little bit of tackiness on there and will stick to my lash hairs. So now what I do is I take my tweezers, attach the lash. I hope this is something you can see. Should I zoom you in more? Okay, that's as far as we can go. So I do let it dry for probably 30 seconds, but I don't let it dry as much as I would if I was applying a full strip lash on top. The reason being, I like to take this and almost like paint my actual lashes with it so that the underneath part of my lash has some glue and will really adhere to this whole thing. So I do like a few swipes like that, and then I put it in its place. And we are not attaching to the waterline, we're attaching to the base of the hairs. So I just lightly attach it, and then once we're all done and I've let them sit for a little bit, I'll kind of go through and pinch them all together. I'm gonna take my next segment, some glue on the top. Let's get a little bit going here. You don't want too much glue. Paint it on. Kind of brush it up. Not too much though. You don't want the lash to look like gunky. If you get too much, take your scissors or like another pair of tweezers and just like get it out of there. And then again, we're gonna paint and then attach. like that. The reason I started buying a strip lash and just cutting it myself is because the kits that have the segments are so much more expensive and I just don't mind the extra work to cut them myself. 
and they honestly last just as long if not longer I think because I can really cut them how they will work for my eye Okay, so there is one eye done, and I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, and I'll show you the whole finished look. Okay, so here's the finished look. I love this because it just makes me feel a little bit cuter, more put together. I am not doing my makeup nearly as much as I used to um, before I had summer, and even when summer was little. I was still doing my makeup more, but now with like COVID and everything and you're wearing a mask and you're just not going out as much, I rarely do my makeup. Um, so this just makes me feel a little bit, you know, cuter. These will last probably five days. Um, in those five days, sometimes I will have like maybe one of the corner ones or the outer ones fall off. Um, either like after I shower or in the morning like I, I can tell that one's like dangling a little bit so I'll have to fix one maybe but for the most part they stay on really well and it's way cheaper than either getting lash extensions which I don't even know are people doing that anymore with COVID I don't know um, it's way cheaper than that and this is way cheaper than like buying one of the actual kits so again, all you'll need is your glue, your lashes, scissors, and um, what are these called? Tweezers. <laughs> so yeah, this was fun to kind of do my little makeup setup again. I'm going to actually finish my makeup, and then I'm going to hopefully wrap some presents. I know Nick is wrapping my presents right now. Maybe we'll go snoop on him. And funny enough, we only have one pair of scissors in the house, and I'm not using these to wrap presents. So he might be using the scissors, which means I can't wrap right now. So I'm going to have to do it later. I just finished my makeup, and this is it. These lashes help so much because literally all I did was concealer, some bronzer, a teeny bit of blush, and a lip. And that's, that's all we're doing. Um, so yeah, let's go snoop on Nick. No, no, no. Get out of here. Okay, he caught me right away, so that didn't work. Um, he's going to be rapping, I think, for a little bit because he was down there eating lunch, taking a break. So I'm not going to be able to rap right now. I need to get another pair of scissors. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to rap later. I will show you guys some things that I'm going to be wrapping when I do. For now, I'm probably just going to get some work done on my laptop, uh, and I'll catch you guys later. Okay, I've got my wrapping papers. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably know what this is. I used some builder's paper, like, you know, painter's paper, and let summer go to town on it, and I'm going to use this wrapping paper for the grandparents' gifts. Um, this was a complete nightmare. She walked through it and then walked over my carpet, which then stained it. Even though it's washable paint, it didn't come out. I tried to use OxyClean on the stains, and the OxyClean turned the carpet yellow because of the glue, apparently, and carpets can do that. I don't know. I didn't know this, but anyways... I need a new carpet because of this, so it better look cute. Here is an example of the theme I'm kind of going with this year. I have my embosser that I'm using for people's names, and I'm doing like a double ribbon with a bell on this builder's paper. I think it's super cute, so this is the vibe we're going for. Hopefully I have enough materials. I'm actually using a ton of stuff I just have had in my bin. Hopefully I have enough ribbon. Um, we'll see. This is the embosser I use. It's from Dymo. I'll link it down below. It's super fun and it was so cheap on Amazon.
Nicholas used up all the tape. So I can't wrap. I was able to find more tape, so this is what we're working with. I mean, it's cute. Now I'm going to type out grandpa and put it on there because that's for Nick's dad. So you get a cute little tag like this. And I'm just gonna, oh, get off. I'm gonna stick it on the front on her paint job. Okay, so there are a bunch of them together that I've done, just so you can kind of see them all. Um, seeing them all together, definitely I like it more. Builder's paper or this like painter's paper is always really hard to wrap because it's thick and tape doesn't stick to it very well. And especially when it has paint all over it, it makes it even harder. But I think it's definitely super cute. And I don't know, I like how it looks with the embossed labels. So let me know what you guys think. I think that the grandparents and family will really like it. I really like this one, how this one turned out. This is my dad's present. Um, I like that red. And then on this one, I had the perfect amount of scrap to do like a section down the middle and tighten the silver with this silver bow. I thought that this is another really cute way to do it too if you start to run out of paper like I did. And look how cute this one is. It's so cute. Okay, I have so much more to wrap. It's actually giving me anxiety. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. My next vlog hopefully will be with a vlog camera. My hand is dying right now using this camera. Uh, I think I'm getting one for Christmas, so yay! And if I don't see you until after Christmas, then Merry Christmas to you and your family. Uh, hopefully I will be posting one more video before Christmas, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, that is it though guys. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!